coming into port after an overnight journey from Corsica. The Pascal Pauli is one of nearly 10,000 ships every year making use of the port of Marseille, one of the busiest in the Mediterranean. And all of those vessels need to use power while they're here, which traditionally meant running diesel generators the whole time they were in port. For local residents, that was a serious concern. Traditionally, the port was inside the city. And now the last 20 or 40 years, the, 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 the port had extended out of the city, but the cities are still growing. Then mm. it's still very difficult to manage the connection between the port and the citizen. And one of the solutions, of course, is to cancel the, the, the negative aspects, you know, to cancel the hair uh, pollution and the hair emission. And that's exactly what the Pascal Pauli has done. When this ship reaches port, it simply plugs in to a special shore connection from ABB, almost like a huge mobile phone. All of that power needed for lighting, ventilation and safety features now comes directly from the local grid, rather than needing diesel generators on board. And that's a considerable saving. A ship like this typically needs as much power as around 300 households. Thanks to the shore connection, uh, all uh, this consumption is transferred to the shore. Uh, what does it mean? It means in practical that uh, all the side effects uh, like pollution, vibration, noise that are spreading to the, to the neighborhood of the city is completely eliminated. The shore connection system, which is tailor-made for each vessel's individual requirements, isn't just a boon for local authorities. It also represents a huge saving for the shipping operators like Corsica Linea, who can drastically cut their costs for marine diesel oil and maintenance. Shore connection for that is a perfect tool because um, you can reduce by 100% the pollution of your ship at birth because uh, no, no more emission. It's very simple to use and there is no, no constraint, no constraint for, for using the system. So uh, it's a perfect tool. For me it's a dream. A dream for locals and for an industry facing increasingly tough regulations on sustainability. The International Maritime Organization has said it wants ships emissions cut by 40% by 2030 and experts are convinced that it's innovative technology like this that will help set a course to get there. <laughs>